Well, Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Technical College for Life on the Farm. And joining me today is Travis Helfrich. Travis, you know, thank you so much for joining me today. And you know, you work for Easter and Chanel, correct? Correct. Yep. And you know, we're out on one of your, your customers' fields here, and we have a kind of unique machine out here today. Can you describe a little bit what we're, what we're looking at? Yeah, out here we got a brand new uh, John Deere 9900 forage harvester. Um, they just started with it here a couple days ago and um, recently purchased it here about two weeks ago. Right, could you tell me a little bit about the machine? You know, what, what makes it a little bit different than the previous model? So it's a 9900, so it's 970 horse. Um, you know, it chops about 400 ton an hour um, and it's got a 12 row um, corn head on it. Right, so they, they, they're actually really moving here today and trying to correct. keep the trucks full, correct? Yep. Travis, you know, your customer literally got this machine weeks ago, correct? It was delivered just weeks ago and it got put to work in the field, right? Yep, correct. So, you know, talk about horsepower, what does it have, have underneath the hood? It's actually got a 24 liter LeBaire engine in it. Um, they came out with that a few years ago and we've had very successful uh, luck with it thus far. Right. So the engine is one of the features, and what else is one of the main features of this machine? There's also, if you see on the harvest or on the spout of these choppers, there's a harvest lab sensor. It's a harvest lab 3000. It's called. Um, we actually have Trevor here. He'll go through more in depth um, what that's all entailing. Yeah, and Travis, you know, thanks for your time today. I'll, I'll talk to Trevor, but th thank you for your time with uh, getting this all set up for us. With no me. problem. Thank you, Jeremy. So, thanks. And also joining me today is Trevor Balthazar. Trevor, you know, thanks so much. You also work for Reister and Schnell, correct? Yep. And, and remind me what you do again. So I'm a digital specialist with Reister and Schnell. Right, and as Travis said that, you know, not only the engine, but some of the technology is, is one of the key features of the, uh, of, of the chopper. Yeah, yep, so you mentioned the Harvest Lab 3000. Um, so that is basically an NIR, so infrared sensor that's on the spout, taking readings for, uh, basically crude protein, um, all the constituents in the feed, as well as moisture. So that thing takes 3,000 readings a second to ensure that all the farmers have the correct data. Right, what are some of the data used for, like on an so, operation like this? Yep, so they'll compile it, um, you know, with the choppers we can put in the varieties, so these guys can really dig into what the, the varieties are yielding in terms of constituents, so that they can ensure they're producing, you know, the highest quality feed they can. So basically using all this data for next year, um, to pick varieties and then as well as just knowing what's on the, you know, what's on the pile for, you know, this year's feeding. Right, and probably they, they weigh the, the feed coming in and they can coordinate or, or collaborate it with the chopper as well, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. We're, most guys are calibrating their choppers at least once or twice a day to ensure that their tons and their yield maps throughout the fields are correct for um, anything else that they're going to use those for. So, you know, you were showing me some stuff earlier that, you know, you can actually see right now what that chopper is doing, you know, remotely, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So our John Deere Operations Center, we have the ability to remote view um, the screen and we can help anybody through anything that they're, you know, having troubles with. So it's definitely something that, you know, in season it's really used because these guys aren't wanting to stop, so. Right. Even finding this field today, we had to look at the computer to figure out where, where everyone was, right? Absolutely, so. yep. You know, Trevor, you know, thanks so much for your, your time today and uh, uh, getting, helping to arrange this today with me. Yeah, absolutely. So, so for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen.